Hi guys, and uh, this is Irina, and today I'm coming with project for Wild Bunch. And this week um, I decided to participate on the challenge, so Christmas in the, in July, and it's hosted by um, Jeanette uh, Scrappy Happy Ho. So this is what I was doing. Um, for that challenge using the wild orchid craft to make project and let me show you very very quick what I was using today so I was using that very light very light um, uh, chrysanthemum from the earth tone package also I was using the two sizes actually I had the IDC three sizes but I was using Two sizes of uh, vintage open roses, 25 millimeters, the lightest color, this, and same light colors from the 20 millimeters. So you see different between 25 and 20 millimeter vintage open roses. Also, I was using um, the um, gar uh, gardenias, um, the big gardenias. And the open roses. So this is what open roses. Oh, not open roses. I mean like um rose buds. This is new product for me. It's a um, large white wild rose buds, and it looks very pretty. I like that flower. I really, really like that size. And it's Tuscany rose buds. And of course, as usually, um, I was using that. Rose buds. I don't know code for them, but I will put link below for that code. And I was using that rose bud six millimeters. Also, I was using stick pin and this uh, white stamp. Yeah. So this is it. Uh, and the project themselves is not very big. Um, it's actually was, was very very easy for me. Let me show you what is that. So okay, let's we will put it and this is three small banners. Yes, it's Christmas in July, right? Is it crazy? But um Jeanette wanted to host that challenge and um she gave instructions so we need to do two, but um then she gave links for the uh, size of the banners this is what it was three of them this is why I created three banners and what I did I printed on the canvas that um, 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 design and she wanted white or cream silver and gold so kind of like very vintage I think if it's white and cream some like light colors and um, silver and gold so I'm standing more, more with white and silver so this is my first so I printed I printed exactly same two sets so front and back uh, background it's exactly same paper like here and then I cover it with fabric and then I put it lace on the top and I used it some embellishment flat back pearls some words and this is what the beautiful bouquet, I actually like how it's turned out. The size is good, not too big, not too small, I like that. So I die cut flowers from my um, bag, from my machine, so I die cut that big flower and then I put bouquet there using the chrysanthemum, open roses, uh, 25 and 20 millimeters rose buds, uh, different sizes. So in here I put just little... Um, a little I put like sequence not sequence I mean like a little I made little charms so it's from put that uh, beads on the thread so this is how it came out on the top of my um, of my lace lace was plain so I just glue the sequence so just added a little bit more Christmassy sparkling look so this is more vintage look this is more silver look so I was using some brooch and I just pin it so if you Jeanette would like to reuse that you always can unpin that and then here again beautiful book yeah, same way paper on the or like um, canvas on the both sides and then fabric and then beautiful applique and on the top of applique I added sequence also and um, some um, 
I don't know what is this, you know, it's like you, you usually use it on the paper, but I glue it using E6000 to the, to, to, to my um, banner. And here is very pretty um, compositions. Again, the main centerpiece is beautiful Kamiya, what I really like it, and I thought it would be nice for Christmas, right? She looks like she's in snow. The big open rose. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to show you. Yeah, I will put link below to that big uh, roses. Also, big rose, open roses, 25 um, millimeters, and then Tuscany rosebuds, and the wild rosebuds, and Tuscany and 20 millimeter rosebuds. And to cool it down, the color from the package, what I received, I just here I use the snow text, and here I just slightly gesso and then I put sparkling because I wanted it will be very sparkling and here I may put it like stick pin also actually it's beautiful I like that stick pins from wild orchid craft this is what stands I decided to put it on the corner and this is how my other banner looks like and the third banner so since then it will be all Christmas yes um, I decided to stay more white. Same idea, uh, canvas, fabric, and beautiful lace. And then I added to the lace the um, um, flat, uh, you know, like this crystal part. So I just glue them to the to to, to the um, and um, then I was using E6000. So this is why the, that. Um, and when you glue small, you cannot see, but when it's big, it's kind of like not even surface to the to the um, crystals. See, this is what is E6000 results will give you. So if you want more crystal look, you probably should use a hot glue gun, but E6000 will give you that um, look on your crystals. And here is small bouquet, but I like how it's turned out. So this is what's big... Um, big um size of um gardenias yeah i like that big gardenias it's actually not very big but i yeah it's big three and a half centimeters so yeah and then wild uh, open rose buds and tuscany rose buds poppy love that poppy i think it's came here very nicely here and small little rose buds so yeah this is what my free banners for this week for you guys and I made it for the challenge using the beautiful flowers from the um, wild orchid craft and um, so it will be on the mail soon thank you everyone for watching and have a good day